Hello everybody and welcome back to Tony North Eastern. Um, I'm just going to do a few aerial shots because uh, I had a comment from Kevin Green he wanted to see more of the layout um, so what I'm going to do, we're just going to maybe wait for a train to come round and then we'll follow a train around the layout at this height so you can see more of the layout um, some of the areas that you don't often get to see um, this is uh, New Hassel Central um, it's a station um, I built many years ago but I never actually finished it um, and it will be a station I will have a, another look at because as you know I've done South Shields and when you look around all the other stations does not compare at all to South Shields so this is New Hassle and this is New Hassle South Junction where the track splits into two directions uh, the tracks nearest to us goes off to the diesel depot and the inner circle loop and here comes the flying Scotsman now pulling the Pullman service so what we'll do we'll follow her around and uh, I'll talk you through some of the places as we go So in the top corner there where the buses are, that's the um, basically a town centre. Um, kind of happy with it. Um, we have the buses there looking, well, making it look busy. And it kind of represents a city centre. But maybe it's... Uh, something else I can look at. Um, looking back down across now through the station from this side. So there's a signal box to go here. If we pan back you'll see that I've got to put a signal box, signal box there, another one. Um, similar to the one that's down the far end there, if I can zoom in you'll see, so I did buy two when I bought that one but it's still in the box and still waiting to be built. And as we come round we have the road bridge here. Um, it's a neat bridge, I, I quite like it. Yeah, I remember making it all out of plywood and coffee stirring sticks. Uh, I also had a comment about um, doing the internals of the signal box that we've just completed. And um, well, I've got a signal box there that's waiting for the levers and all the internals to do as well. And here comes the flying Scotsman again. And here we have the, the engine sheds or the depot for the steam engines. Here's another view of the um, steam depot. You can see you got the sun shining in and it's glaring off the, the back scene over there. And we have the uh, B3 on the local 
passenger service on the inner loop. And as we go round, that was supposed to have become my brewery. Um, I'm not happy with the track plan yet again, even though I've done it once. I might have to do it again. Um, can't really get a lot of tracks in that corner, but um, that's something I'll, I'll be looking into. And here comes the flying spots now again. Let's see if we get a nice little level shot. As it comes around. And here we have Tyne Dock. The first station to be built here. Completely built and finished at the northeastern. Um, as you can see we've got the two Medcalf kits, one on that side and one on that side. Um, this side, if I remember rightly, I had to cut it down on both sides to get it to fit on the platform. And as you can see, the new extension I've been scratching around on it with a pencil again, marking out roads and what have you. Um, got a few more taxis. That's going to be a taxi rank there. I'm going to try and put a little mini roundabout in there. Something that I spotted on um, Susanna Jacqueline's layout. And there we have another signal box um, waiting for internals. Now that's just a Scaledale signal box. Uh, I repainted that. Um, so it originally had green framework. And uh, I swapped it over to any red. You up. There's a diesel depot. Now here we have uh, Pilo Junction where the tracks split and head off to South Shields, it's the middle two, and the inner two is just a return loop back round to Newhouse or Central. And we've got the outside too, which is the main line. And we've got a single spur there, which goes off beyond the signal box. Now that's the only signal box um, that has been fully detailed inside. And that's a Gage Master signal box. Um, I only bought that for a pound, and I totally stripped it apart and rebuilt it. And then in the far corner there we have the gasometer and the pumping house. And of course we do have the um, the garage there, which was just a um, partial Metcalf kit and partial scratch build. And the lean to of course. Um, a new feature I've added to the layout. I bought this building here, it's a key rebuilding, um, which looks the part and it fits in quite nicely here. If I go down to ground level, you can see the arches there, and that's what um, 
took me um, back to my childhood because it reminds me of these South Shields Market building. Obviously, we've got the high street there. As we come round, you see the 39 steps coming up to the South Shield Station. I haven't seen that view for a while. There's a little bit of work to do here. There's a road and some pavement to put in. And also the, um, what would you call this? The power supply to the track. So I've got to put a little building in there as well. And maybe feed some cables out to look like it's powering the third rail. So that's a, a, another little job. And um, as we move on, you can see where the um, signal boxes are. And of course, more work yet to do here. I've got to then extend the baseboard out by about a foot. So I'm putting a few terrace houses, which will be scratch built. And also, a little bit more space so I can put the Waybridge office in here and there's the river drive bridge first structure to go onto this baseboard beginning last year I think it was here's a great view of the layout overhead view and you can see the diesel depot which used to be a steam depot once upon a time and uh, you still see the water plane there and tower I have done videos um, when I did that so if you want to backtrack you're more than welcome to have a look I think I remember rightly all that was cobblestones I think down in there that might be worth a look if you're interested in that. Um, let's go down to this little signal box here. Now in this little signal box there should be a little chap waving at you. Um, this was a kit, LC cut kit. Um, and as you can see inside I have made some levers and uh, glued them in. Right, and here we have behind the signal box the notorious Stevenson's Bank, which runs all the way up to High Shields over there in the corner. And here we have one of my favourite pubs, the Northeastern. Um, this was given to me actually and they're going to throw it away and I said well I'll have that um, and uh, I took it all apart rebuilt the roofs didn't have chimneys so I rebuilt two new chimneys and pebble dashed it and just seeing if that went in the bin and I just added the um, sign North Eastern As we move on, you see the colliery. That was done a couple of years ago now. And we have old Fred Dibner up the chimney there painting this sign, so painting this. We 
have a decent 16 there in the in the side and waiting to take the, the full loads of coal out. And this has to be one of my favourite areas of the layout, um, high shields. Um, because it's complete. It's one of the few sections of my layout that's complete. It's complete from the coal route through the station to about here. Um, I recently filmed the um, Christmas video here. I think uh, most of you have seen that one. Uh, I remember when I was actually doing this it was a quite a um, tall order to do because it's, it's four foot from this point right into that corner so I had to start right in that corner and do the road that goes around the houses there then work my way out piece by piece by piece I've still got probably a few more little bits and pieces I want to add to there maybe some road lines But that's just little details, little details. Right, and then we come to this eyesore. <laughs> I'm not sure what I want to do here. Um, at the moment it's the spur that goes right away around to under that bridge and back through the time dock. Um, I've been toying with the idea of putting a passing loop here and changing uh, this platform that's already here for a, another platform and putting in obviously a point at this end and another point at the other end and making this bridge here wider to accept two tracks so obviously that's the, the main line running around the whole layout and the upper level well you know where the upper level goes if you've been following the channel This is the widest part of the layout. It's almost five foot deep from this edge to just beyond them buildings. Uh, I can just about reach all areas still, which is good uh, for track cleaning purposes. Depending where I am, I can reach all the track, which is good. So we're directly over the diesel depot now. And this is what the railway room looks like. Well, I 
hope you enjoyed the tour. Now we're going to find out who has won one of these signal boxes. See you in a bit. Right, the moment you've all been waiting for. As you can see, I've got my Quizmaster's hat on. And it's been two weeks since we started the build of the signal box and here we have almost 50 entries um, all with correct answers for the signal box so without further ado let's find out who has won the signal box so we need a hat to pick the winner out of so here we go We got one here. We got one, and it is Barry Turner. So Barry, for you to acquire this signal box, just leave a comment below, and somehow I will get in contact with you, and we'll arrange the Postmaster General to deliver it. Hey, thanks everybody for entering the competition. It's been a fun build and uh, thanks again. See you next time. Bye. Bye.